Hi guys, today is big carburetor talk time. Yes, this is a 636 Kawasaki 2000 model. I do love these, as check my video out in a minute when I first got it. Look, lovely looking bikes. Try to cheat, <clears throat> which was flushing the petrol through, carburetor underneath, cleaning stuff. It comes down to good old, take the damn thing apart, okay? There are lots of little bits you have to take off first, which is your air filter, I clean that. That's a can air filter. And you get this power clean with it and so on. And you've got the little vent bits. Make sure you put everything out. But it comes down to the very basics. Float. Float pin. Main jet. Idle jet. It basically comes down to the same thing. Let me show you a bit closer. Underneath here. Comes down to exactly the same as before. All right, a few more bits and bobs in there, but generally, it is the same sort of thing. Lots of pipes to take off. Remember where they go, and as I said in all my videos, top tip, take a picture. If you can't remember where they went before, you can revert back to picture, because there's lots of little bits and bobs. I don't want to take it completely off. Okay, I could undo it, but personally, I can work this way. It's nice and clean. Make sure that if the rubbers are perished, you replace them because there's no sense in getting it all back on again and thinking it'll be all right because it won't. It will leak and it just won't run. On this one, I started up another video and you could hear she's running on three. It's like a noise out of it. It would run, but I didn't like it. When I emptied the three other carburetors and you emptied the chamber bit and I got the petrol out, which is in here, the others really were that full of petrol. When I got to this one I'm cleaning now, it was only that full. So that tells me it isn't filling up properly with petrol, hence I've took it apart. I will do the other three because I'm here. I've already cleaned the plugs, I've already cleaned the air filter, it's already put fresh fuel through it, that was easy to say, but it comes down to the carburetors and say cheating doesn't work, okay? I thought I'd be able to drain the carburetors through, it's an electric pump on this one, and it's an old style. If an injection, it's probably done it, but this only runs the system through. When I've cleaned them all, put them back together again, and remember, a little cheat, where the pipe comes up from the pump, the little funnel, pour petrol in there, prime the carburetors, okay? You can't suck them through like I do on my peds. So that's basically it, guys. Check the other video out, and this will be running, and I'll probably put another running on the end of this video as well. There will be two videos. As I said, these are beautiful bikes. This is the old style 2000 before it got to the B1H, which just started getting tiny. I like a bike looking a bike, big chunky bike. You may lose a few miles an hour, but these red line at 15,000 revs, they've got so much guster in these, they're beautiful bikes. So let's get on with this, guys, and uh, watch it in a minute. As usual, top tip, short a bit of pipe, wipe it first. Uh, there they are. Anyway, as I do my little ped videos, see the little float there? You should be able to. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it there. Ready? Okay. That's telling me that if I can blow through it, and when I push it up, it shuts off, it's working perfectly. If it wasn't coming through like I don't think it was before, there'd be a limited amount of air, or when you shut it off, it wouldn't shut off, and I would just flood the carburetor. So that's my top tip. I do it with the other peds as well. Anyway, keep watching. Not until you take it off, can you see that green tint? This is number two, which I thought was perfectly all right. Full of the green crap still. And then, I took this off. Look at that, guys. Can you see that? Green. And I put it up to the light. You can't see nothing, because nor can I. That was what was causing me all the problem. So, it uh, just goes to show, doesn't it? You know, I thought it was number four for not getting the petrol in. So, is that one? I bet the others are the same. Well, let's keep going. So guys, while I'm back in my shed with my cup of tea and about to get my gloves on, the hardest thing I have to tell any person when they ask me a question on YouTube, and it's all with the peds by the way, you know, I've got my little carburetors and so on, is they tell me that I've done this, I've taken the carburetor off, I've looked at the piston, it's still not going. The hardest thing I have to say is, do it again. So, this starts on the button. It revs up rides down the road and it does do you know high speeds but it sounds like a day of matiz or one of your little tavants or something different that you've got a three cylinder it's not running on all four 
So I checked the plugs, cleaned out the carburetors. I don't know if I think I've done. It's still not running right. So what's the old thing to do? Take it all off again. I take all the plugs out because I've done a good cut of three miles on it. Take the plugs out, and if I've got one that's really dark and burnt colour, that's the problem. If they're all burning fine, it's not the problem. So I'm going to take all the bottoms of the carburetors again, clean them all up again, see if there's any more green crap in there. I'm going to check all the pipes for any splits or anything again, because there just might be something I've missed. And if there's nothing I've missed, then it's something bad. It could be a damaged piston. Um, it could be simple something that they need balance in the carburetors. Don't know. And that's the whole point I do these videos for. Sometimes these videos, I'm learning as, as much as you, you know. I've got the basics. The basics are all the same. A carburetor is a carburetor. Okay, a motorbike is a motorbike. They're just more advanced bits. So, looks lovely, and I do love this bike. But, I'm going to carry on, take it all off, and the basics are there. You know how to do that. Remember to take pictures of the bits and bobs. But let's get on with it. Four spark plugs. One, two, three, four. Can you see that one looks a lot darker? I mean, that one looks dark on the camera, but it's not. And here's another thing. I mean, that looks really good. That does. That's a little bit of dirt. But that one here, that is very dirty compared to that one. But here's something I noticed. Here's some other plugs that I had from another bike. I never chucked nothing away. Can you see I've put them beside each other, guys? Can you see that there's a different length? I mean, that is bang there. Look at that. The centre bit on this is out. Can you see it? Compared to that one. See, look. That's the one from the bike now, and these ones are from a different bike. All the centre cores are out, and that one's not. So, uh, I'm not sure, you know. I've got some other plugs, so I think I might get some other plugs, clean them up, and stick them in. You never know, do you? I mean, if it's not running right, it's not sparking right, hey, it just shows that even you can get a new plug, supposedly, and they can be wrong. Let's get on with it. So the plugs are in, and here is the bottom of the three carbs now. They are as clean as I can get them. I'm beginning to think the green stuff could have been, because this pipe here is green and does come from my water, that just maybe it managed to egress into there. But I've scraped them as much as I can. They're lovely and clean. I've already done that one. So I'd do three at a time. And I have sprayed a whole can in every single vacuum pipe, checked everything I can possibly do. So let's get it back together and see whether this uh, baby starts and goes properly. Well guys, finished product, does look pretty. All comes down to now plugs, perfect carburetors, lovely and clean. What do I need now? Balance it. Dino tuning, dino jetting, whatever you want to call it. It's something I haven't got the kit for, and it's gonna be a garage. But it does run. She runs, she sticks over, and she rides. MOT Tuesday, that will pass an MOT nice and easy. I've gone over all the bolts, checked them all over. But it just shows you done, you get to some stages where you just haven't got the stuff. Like with the peds, I know I've got it all. But it's going to be booking it in then, getting it dyno tuned so it's balanced and everything else. And this will be a nice little bike. So, guys, nice and easy. Not all the time, eh? Right, guys, check out links around the outside for other bikes, Jexas, and all other little ones I have as well. You take care of yourselves on the road.